Now, for setting up the USB host controller. First, we'll need to create a directory to store the files in. Next, we'll need to copy the drivers over into the folder we created. Then we get to edit our config sys file and add the new lines to load the drivers on boot. And now we'll need to power the PC down. I have here this flash drive that we'll be using. Nothing special, it's 128 megabytes of storage. And we'll be back once I have this connected to the PC. Now, a few considerations when working with uh, USB and MS-DOS. USB storage devices need to be formatted in FAT, or File Allocation Table. Not FAT32, not NTFS, it has to be just FAT. And these devices are not hot swappable. To change from one USB key to another, for example, we'll need to turn the PC off, swap the device, and then turn the PC back on. The USB ASPI.sys file does have a switch, it's slash W, uh, it means wait. It's going to prompt you when you turn the PC on to connect a USB device before it starts its detection process, as we see here. We'll copy some files over to the flash drive real quick, make sure it works. Seems to. And we'll just delete everything here. Alright, adding files and deleting files seems to work just fine from our flash media.